guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty with the Purpose. So today I have for you guys, I'm finally going to be playing with my Tati Beauty palette. You guys should have seen my reaction when my sister showed up with this. I was just like, oh my god. I was just like, really? For me? Like, y'all, I love Tati. I've been watching Tati since I've really really wanted to dive into makeup and so I'm so happy for her I really want Tati to get like everything that she desires in life like I just feel like she has such a good heart like that's what she deserves is like everything she desires that lines up with the will of God but this is what the palette looks like you guys so here we have the row um memory and so basically how this works is like there's only one shade name per um column and then each row is a different finish. So you get a total of six by four, 24 eyeshadows. The eyeshadow palette does it retail for 24, for $48. But if you break that down, you're, it's pretty much like $2 an, $2 an eyeshadow pan. So it really just seems like a lot because you have to pay basically $2 for each eyeshadow up front, which is $48. So I will go ahead and insert some swatches as I'm naming this off. So you have Memory, which is the first row, which is like the really smoky row. And then you have Memory Matte, Memory Sequin, Memory Metallic, and then Memory Glitter. And then if you go over to the next row, you have Ritual. And then like I said, you have Ritual Matte, Ritual Sequin, Ritual Metallic, Ritual Glitter. And then it's just going to go the same thing. And then you have Story. And so Story Matte story sequin story metallic story glitter and then we go over to soothe which i think is like a such a great name for this row right like for this color story right here because like like these are soothing colors so you have soothe matte soothe sequin soothe metallic and then soothe glitter and then right here you have aura and it's aura matte aura sequin orn metallic and then Aura Glitter. And then the last is a Poet, which is Poet Matte, Poet Sequin, Poet Metallic, and then Poet Glitter. I have swatched these just a little bit, but like I said, I'll insert like a side-by-side -side of as I'm reading these off to you, I will also be swatching them for you guys. So we're gonna go ahead and start playing with that first um, because I do wanna try to play with the glitters. Okay, and then I do have a neutral lip picked out, but I do wanna also play with some other things that I will play with all the stuff that I got in my Ipsy this month. So we will be doing that. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some tape to my eyes all i had was packing tape you guys so yeah i really should invest something that's better suitable for my skin okay now, so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids with my l'oreal infallible full wear concealer and i have mine in the shade 355 vanilla and then I am going to be taking my favorite sponge, which is from Dollar General. It comes in a pack of three for $4.50. So you're paying a little bit over a dollar for each sponge, which is not bad. But these sponges are so good, you guys. Like, if you have a spare five bucks, like, go find these at Dollar General and buy the pack. It is so cold outside today, you guys. Like, this weekend, like, it was a beautiful weekend. Like, for Ethan's game, we had great weather. Sunday was beautiful weather. But, like, I don't know if this is everywhere, but here in West Texas, when you're about to get a cold front, West Texas is already windy, as is. But when you are about to get a cold front in West Texas, it is like the wind does not play any games. Like, the wind is not for the week out here. Just did my brows, but like, I don't know. I guess they're never gonna be perfect, I guess. So now we can get into this. And I'm going to do it how I always do my eyeshadows. And so I am gonna go ahead and set down that concealer with the shade Aura, which is this one right here. And guys, look at how big this mirror is that you get. It takes up everything. And it's such a good quality mirror too. Like. I might use this. Okay, this palette does have a little bit of weight to it. I did even bring some napkins in here so I can clean off my brushes so that we are not cross-contaminating any eyeshadows. What you see is what you're gonna get with this beautiful Tati Beauty Textured Neutrals Volume 1 palette. So going in with Aura, we're just gonna set all of this down. Okay, 
taking my Luxie Large Added Blending Brush, I am going to go ahead and go in with Soothe and we're just gonna buff this into our crease. I've seen so many videos on this. I'm like, <sighs> I remember just thinking like, oh my gosh, I want that palette. And like most of you, I'm just like, oh, but it's so expensive. And then I'm like, and it's not even really that it's expensive. Like, like I said, it's basically $2 per eyeshadow, like per single eyeshadow, but because it is a palette, you have to pay for it all up front. And it's not much more expensive than anything that you would buy at the in the Prestige area at Ulta or anything that you would buy from Sephora. It's not really that big of a price difference. And I mean, knowing Tati, you couldn't really expect her to not come out with something that was gonna be her best, um, her best effort, the best with the best ingredients, with the best formula. You, and whenever you get things that are the best, it comes at a little bit more of a price than what you would find at the drugstore. <laughs> Ethan just got home. He's so stinking cute. <laughs> he's sitting at my computer with my beats on, watching Hotel Transylvania, and he thinks he's like the coolest kid right now. So I'm still, still going in with the Soothe. Guys, these are so light. They're so easy to blend. Like, I know I've only gone in with a crease color, but sometimes a crease color can really be kind of patchy. Especially on my eyelids, like, I always have a patchy part that doesn't really want to blend out. And, like, it's not happening with this Tati palette. Okay, next I'm going to be taking my Makeup Geek Soft Dome Brush. I'm going to take a little bit of Story Matte. And we're gonna do the same thing, just not as blown out. There is one dab, like one tap, and that's what it gets. He gave you my. Guys, if you have trouble with blending, like, you need this palette like this will make you feel like a professional blender wow i just got fingerprints all over that <laughs> okay so now i'm going to be taking my bh cosmetics number seven brush and it's just like a really small blending brush next i'm going to go ahead and take poet and apply that a little bit lower, not as blown out, not even as blown out as Story. So just barely adding anything with Poet. Should have maybe gotten a little bit of a smaller brush. I'm going back in with a little bit of Story just so we don't lose that orange. Second eye always is easier to do than your first eye. That is looking beautiful. Like guys, I don't think I've ever blended this good in my life. <laughs> now I'm gonna take this Moda Pro um, shade brush and I'm gonna go in with Poet Metallic, which is this one right here. And I'm gonna put that on the outer part, really close to the outer V. And then, maybe I should use my finger. Ew. Okay, using my finger, guys. That is pretty. Guys, it is so windy. I wouldn't be surprised if you guys can hear it. Like, that's how windy it is. Okay, next I am gonna go in with a Story Metallic and put that in the center of my eye. Now for the very inner part of my eye, I'm gonna take Aura Metallic. 
take that on my pinky just to be a little bit more precise. looking like so far I don't really feel like you have to cut your crease to work with these metallics to get it very like va va voom I feel like it works perfectly fine without doing so one thing that I am wanting to do though something that is okay so I'm gonna go in with my makeup geek pencil brush and I do want to go in to soothe glitter that one's a little bit more gold Whoa. That, it looks this one looks really gold when I put it like this, but it's actually really brown. Soothe gold, soothe glitter is actually more gold. And I want to take this just on the very tip top of my brush and I want to do it, put it right in my crease. That is really pretty. This is way out of my comfort zone, you guys. So that is what that is looking like. So stinking cute. Okay, I was actually gonna go in with a black liner, but I wanted to test out this um, memory matte, which is this matte black, and I'm just gonna do a liner with that. Like, it made my black brush more black, which is crazy to think. So I just got up to get some white. So we're gonna go ahead and take this eye tape off. Eye tape, take this tape off of our eyes. I'm gonna have to do like a super sleek ponytail. I'm definitely underdressed with this eyeshadow look. So I did get some fallout with the black, but that's definitely not the eyeshadow's fault. That's all my fault. So I'm just going to go ahead and go under my eye and try to clean that up. Okay. So for mascara, I did get this Douce Punk Volumizer Mascara in my Ipsy. I believe it retailed for like $22, $24 if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to go ahead and coat my lashes with this after... <coughs> but you know I'm going with falsies because Tati deserves all the glam when it comes to her palette. I mean, she's glam. Okay, so... This mascara is super wet, so I really feel like it's not doing much. Like, it's not gripping onto my lashes very much. Um, it's not lengthening, but it definitely is volumizing. So I'm guessing maybe if this dries out some and it's able to get a better grip, it'll be a lot better for, length, for volumizing. Because I'm somebody who means, I don't know if you can see, this is not an attractive angle. So that's just what it looks like. It makes them kind of look short and stubby and that's the worst kind of mascara. Might give this to away to somebody. Okay, so the lashes we are going in with, I got these off of AliExpress for like 10 cents. This whole pack, there's like a sale. So I got this whole pack for 10 cents. Look how pretty these lashes are. And so these are what I'm going to apply. It took like a month for them to come in, but for 10 cents, like, can you really complain? Okay, so I am gonna go ahead and apply these and then I will be right back. Y'all, that black line, that black eyeshadow is really good for liner because it's so black. Ooh, lashes make everything look so much better. Look how pretty these lashes are for 10 cents, you guys. Do they look like 10 cent lashes? I don't think so. It's just my opinion, but I like them. I didn't really have to trim much off of these lashes. I would just like cut off like the extra band, if that makes sense. Like, you know, sometimes the band goes beyond like the little hairs, I guess you could say. So all I had to do was like cut that off. Okay, so, ooh, so that all up in my inner corner for some reason. I think it might be lifting up. That's what it feels like. So I did have to go in and reapply my right lash. It was lifting up on that inner corner. Like I thought because I could feel this right lash is just not the business today. 
we're gonna leave that alone and move on to the face okay so i did get this in i've gotten a lipstick from this brand before and this is that illa mask uh, line and this is their hydroville primer so like i said the, this is the front or this is the front you twist one time lift off and then it comes with a little like comes with like a little spatula to scoop some out so i'm all i'm gonna do because i assume this is like for measuring purposes so i'm just gonna fill this up oh my gosh look at how that looks it looks exactly like jelly that is so weird so yeah that's how much i'm gonna take oh that feels so weird So I don't, oh, that's like a lot. Wow. I'll take some of that on my neck. It's so like, it's a lot more watery than you would think. Like when I, in my unboxing video, I said it felt like gel. Like that's exactly what it feels like is gel. That feels so strange. It is a little bit tacky. So I am going to go in with my Skin & Company Truffle Therapy Illuminating Refreshing Skin Mist. I'm going to shake it just a little bit. And then this is going to be our primer spray today. I forget how light that mist is. Next, we are going to go ahead and go in with our Wet n Wild Foundation Stick. And I have mine in the shade Classic Beige. forehead is hard. <laughs> I'm gonna blend that out with my sponge. This stick foundation actually blends out really good with a sponge. And I am gonna build it up just in like these areas where you can see like some hyper pigmentation and some breakouts that I'm having. I'm gonna go ahead and just apply just a little bit more. Wow. Ooh, I'm gonna blend it out of my nose right there. Okay, so I've never met a foundation full coverage of, well, me personally, because usually really full coverage foundations are too matte for my skin type. So I've never really met a matte foundation where, or sorry, a full coverage foundation that's full coverage enough to color my cover up my freckles. So obviously I can still see those peeking through, but for the most part, like really dark spots, it does cover up or tone down to make them look like the rest of the freckles on my face. So we will be doing, going in with I believe beauty concealer. So we're gonna be doing one eye at a time because as you can see, this is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm going to add just a dab of my L'Oreal concealer. And you know you have to work pretty fast with this concealer because it dries fast and it will lift up your makeup underneath, so yeah. Very careful with this sharp edge that we created with the tape and I am gonna do is go in with my little Amazon brush and just make sure that I get this inner corner blended out really well okay now we're gonna go ahead and do the other eye and the rest of the face Okay, so now that we got that all blended out, I will be going on with my Believe Beauty setting powder. And we are just going to set our face with this. I believe I have my powder in the shade of light medium. Okay, we are gonna go ahead and go in and finish up the lower lash line. I really don't plan on doing too much with the lower lash line. 
so so many interruptions today so like i was saying ethan's speech therapist just got here so like i was saying we're gonna go ahead and work on the lower lash line what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in with my defined crease brush from makeup beat and i'm gonna take a story and i'm going to buff that along my lower lash line now i'm going to take my bh cosmetics number 11 brush it's just like a flat shader like really really flat brush and i'm gonna take a poet and push that right up against my lashes Going back in with this brush and we're gonna blend that out just a little bit. I am gonna go in with this Hollywood and Vine Coal Eyeliner and just put that on my waterline. And then I'm going to be taking this Moda Detail Brush and I'm going to take Aura and put that in. I'm gonna mix Aura and I'm going to take Soothe and or Metallic and mix them and put that on my inner corner. The inner corner is done. Okay, going back in with this mascara right here, we're going to go ahead and coat the lower lashes. I'm nervous because this brush is so big. It was all going so well. <laughs> I was just about to say, great turn of events. I love this for my lower lashes. <sighs> Guys, <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna let that dry and go in with the rest of our face. <sighs> okay, so we're gonna go ahead and go in with a bronzer and I'm gonna take this bronzer I got in my Ipsy. This is the Gigi Gorgeous bronzer and I'm just gonna take, I'm going to take my brush from my Amazon kit and I'm just going to swirl into both colors and start. Wow. Wow. Bronzing. Going in with my more precise little contour brush. I'm going to go ahead and get the sides of my nose. Wow. That one left real quick. Literally left. I'm gonna see if I can wipe this off yet. Great. That bronzer is actually really nice, really smooth, really pigmented. But I feel like I put. Did I? And now for blush, I'm gonna take this Ofra and Madison Miller blush or little palette, and I'm gonna use this blush right here in the center. And I got this brush on Wish that I'm about to use. Going in with highlight, we're going to be using our Makeup Revolution palette, and I'm going to mix these two. Okay, I was going... Oh, man. I forgot to use this. Guess I'll use it in another video and play with it. Also, I was going to play with this lipstick, but I really just feel like... I mean, it'll go with the eyes, but not today. I'll use that in another video as well. So what we're going to go ahead and do is I'm going to take this Sephora lip liner in the shade, what does it say? The, I don't know what shade this is. It's just a nude one. I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips with this. It's like really, 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 really nude. Yeah, I'll just keep dropping everything. Part of my distractions is me dropping everything in sight. So the lipstick I'm going in with is Lolita 2 by Kat Von D. Whew, I'm gonna curl our lashes one more time just to make sure that they look very nice and combined. I don't think I need to with these lashes. So what I am gonna do is go ahead and set my brows. I didn't forget y'all. And we're going to, whoop, going to set. I 
I'm gonna go do something with this and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is a completed look that I came up with you guys. I really like it. It this palette is great. I I recommend that you could buy it if you're able to save for it if you can afford it. Now here's why. Not only do you have like for your deep smokies but you have all your neutrals with a pop of color with any highlight color that you need for your eyes now with that being said you have your transition shades you could do something that's very everyday but also if you want to step out of your comfort zone where well, you have these two rows right here and even this one if you're not used to working with oranges so i really think that it's worth your money you get to play with different textures different finishes and different um formulas and it just helps you want to it, it makes you want to step out of your comfort zone and just build on your makeup skills even more at least for me like I said this eyeliner like this eyeliner this glitter in the crease I don't think I would have ever did that if I didn't have this palette why because I'm not somebody who would typically go out and buy glitters but this is just pleasing to the eyes because no you don't have to use the glitters but if you want to start venturing into glitters like you have them there as well as you have all your basic mattes with pops of color you have different kind of finishes that you get to play with and learn how to work with the formula is very blendable very easy to work with i think this is good beginners palette like if you're a beginner and you're going to invest in one palette like i definitely definitely recommend this one not only and not only would you be supporting somebody who has like the kindest heart and helping her but you I, I'm sure she would love to see what you guys come up with and I, I know she feels very blessed that her palette is doing so well and so yeah so those are my thoughts on the new Tati Beauty palette I hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also go ahead and hit that subscribe button I love you guys but she just loves you more bye Mwah.